There we go. Getting some background music for you all. Hey, everybody. Rodamon here. Thanks for tuning in to the third install... Or, actually, sorry, fourth installment of the Wardens of Eriador. Let's not forget about that premonition dream that little Jeremiah had. If you need a recap of the rules and goals, well, they're pretty straightforward. Uh, weapons and armor are race restricted, and we can't abandon, abandon Warden Hold. We gotta stay here through hell and high water. Uh, goals is also straightforward. Basically, defending Warden Hold and making some alliances and purging the world of fire drakes. So, let me uh, do a quick recap of things I've changed since we last left off. So, I've modified these lights here that I complained about a little bit. Uh, they no longer cast such a gross hue. This will be a lot more obvious at night. Uh, the Ignite Anything mod is now disabled, and in lieu of that, it is a mass grave instead. Um, and that way we can dump bodies of goblins very quickly and efficiently into a mass grave and just sort of cover them up. I'm probably going to run out of real estate eventually, but, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have to, we'll have to deal with that. Um, and then of course we have, well, the new hobbit, the rescuee that is to join soon. Uh, not quite yet. We're going to wait for the next 15 minutes or so, uh, for people to show up, get active, and then we'll do the raffle. And I'm excited about that. Getting new characters. Another thing I modified as well is the penalty for banishment. Um, I didn't fully rename banishment to like retire, which is something I actually want to do. But uh, what will happen is when we banish people, there isn't a mood penalty unless it's banishing a prisoner to death. Uh, that still has a mood penalty, but banishing a colonist is sort of instead the concept of retirement. Uh, and that way, when I admit people to the colony, I can, you know, just sort of send them away and it's not a huge penalty. Uh, the raffle is set up right now so that anyone active between now and about 15 minutes from now will be eligible if you are a subscriber. Yes. I have indeed done that. Um, so we've... We definitely want to set up our base here to be able to deal with, um... The possibility of dangerous enemy incursions uh, and to that end I am redesigning these little embrasure area things here uh, to accommodate for uh, you know like little mobile panic rooms or something um, in fact I'm gonna make this even larger sorry to Jer Jeremiah who's stuck doing all of the uh, additional installs but I, I want them to be able to accommodate a fair amount of people inside of them, just in case. Just in case. Alright, so we'll get that built. That would be nice. Some of the events that happen won't necessarily work. So, um, things like Roadworks and Mystical Shaman still aren't going to be functional. Uh, I'm working on that with LB here in chat, uh, trying to debug, um, basically a lot of the morph, uh, faction interaction mod additions require a beacon. Oh, there we go. We now know how to make some dwarven axes. So let's take a quick look. Uh, we were leveling up some of the weapons for our people and that way Sasquatch, oh, well, here they are. They've arrived. Uh, Sasquatch might be able to better equip people. Because, of course, he is our crafter here. Um, better arms and armor. Because, unlike a lot of my other series, Shaman does not work. Yes, no, Shaman does not work right now. It might work soon, but um, I can almost surely promise it won't work right now. So don't buy it. And there's a few others that just won't work. Uh, I can't dig into the dev menu, or rather, I can, but I don't want to dig into the dev menu for too long. But any of these events, like Hunter's Lodge, Mystical Shaman, anything that has a no next to it, simply will not work. Like, Roadworks won't work right now, either. And, um, there needs to be some modding, because more faction interaction sort of assumes that you, uh, have a comms console and a beacon. But, of course, we don't. So, 
yeah, that's something we're going to have to fix. All right, Chef is creating some beautiful elvish bread for us. This is uh, what, I mean, I think, honestly, in my opinion, the advantages or the, um, the benefits of the elf bread is insane. So strong. Um, almost too strong, but yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay with anything that gives our heroes an edge. Uh, this doesn't necessarily need to be a balanced series. It just is what it is. I don't exactly remember why I was breaking this down here. Hmm. Maybe I just won't. <laughs> now, I did want to place the sort of embrasure type walls all up in this uh, bridge entry area, making it very difficult for people to, um, to breach. Uh, this, yeah, I guess this would give better shooting aerials. The only problem with that is it also is weaker, I think. Let me make sure if that's... Uh, yeah, they are functionally weaker walls as well, which is the only other problem. So, we gotta be careful about that. We have some Ambrosia coming down from the Emperor. Alright, so here where you can see uh, the lights still cast a slightly bluish hue, but not overwhelmingly, like, sickeningly blue. Can I show the art text when I get a few seconds, please? Uh, oh, there goes everything dying to the cold. Uh, orange thicket. So this art here is just a beast thrang, flying through the air. Really not much art there. I do believe that our... Ooh, why have I not returned yet? Where are you? Oh, you are sleeping in the wrong bedroom. I see. All right, I think a lot of bedrooms are sort of wrong. So, Reyna, um, you should be here. There are sort of racial bedrooms. There is the human-styled, the uh, hobbits, and more hobbits. Shep and Fo Foley should not be in here. He's a dwarf that should be in here. Fix that. Every time they go deployed, I'm going to have this issue. Meteorite coming down from Seth. He's just saying hi. This is a uh, compact steel meteorite. That's pretty useful. In the Lord of the Rings mod, just a reminder, you mine up uh, ore, iron ore, and then you have to process it into steel, which takes time and effort and energy. So raw steel is rare and precious to some degree. Another thing I wanted to do is to possibly um, make some better beds. So I'm going to have Jeremiah here crank out some better beds. The less sleep that my guides can get, the more productive they will be compared to, you know, the raiders coming in. <laughs> Should be able to send toques so that my hobbits can be full of a toque. Well, uh, I suppose I could maybe craft them. Um, Alright, so one of these is excellent. Uh, what I'm going to do is... There was another excellent one over here. We'll have two excellent beds. And the excellent beds have sleep effectiveness 137. That's pretty good. Uh, we're starting to get hypothermic. Oh, Reyna, you have some serious hypothermia. Um, is there a warm... There's really not a warm place in our base anywhere, which is totally my fault. This cold snap is sort of a new thing. Um, let's do something about that, obviously. I mean, I'm not going to just let her die from hypothermia. That would be silly. Go make a campfire. Raise the temperature of the hospital up a little bit. So her injuries, just a scratch scar. Foley's is another scratch scar. We are going to obviously build up a lot of scratch scars. Got Hanova. Did your 
Up here you have a blonde beard, down here you have a pink one. Obviously something odd is going on. That much is obvious, plainly obvious to me. Uh, Alright, so we're not that warm yet. Raina fully healed, but like, she's still super cold. Um, what I might want to do is have two sets of stuff for her. A sort of battle suit, and then... Oh, here we go, a Tori Talker event. Uh, a battle suit, and then one for just standard run around the base, because uh, she's going to constantly be frozen. Meaning, um, what I need to do is to crank out some toques. Toques. It's going to be a lot quicker to swap a toque or two out than... Um, uh, than to swap out entire armor. And let's make sheeple toques. That's probably a little bit warmer than the regular stuff. We got poor Lino sending some wood. Thank you. Keeping those fires, those hearths nice and um, doped. Alright, so I kept her in there for long enough that she lost most of the really, really bad hypothermia. Uh, but Sasquatch here will get crafting on that. Um, all of the... All the crafting that we've got going on here um, is a little bit slower because of the temperature. But given that I have an open door policy for most of this, I'm not going to worry about it. Animals. So you are a hobbit. And you should go down up, I guess, to the hobbits. And we're slowly getting clothing for you. You're going to be a little cold for a bit. Looks like you're all choosing to send some good things my way. Alright, so... Humans. For headgear? Tooks are allowed. Good. Here's a took. And Reyna, because you've been complaining about it, I'm going to force wear that. And that keeps you to 8 degrees Fahrenheit, which is perfect. The new... Hobbit has not yet been assigned. Uh, it will be in about five minutes time. So, inspiration. Inspired surgery. Well, uh, we don't really need any surgery at the moment, but... Alright, this new Hobbit, uh, who doesn't really have a name yet, is going to need uh, some clothing. Curious who else puts these toques on. Now, I did have some tips from you all. Uh, let's see. As Candy, I mentioned that the flower beds I had here could be... I was originally had flower beds, but what I might end up wanting to do is something like strawberry plants. And that way, we can actually harvest. Um, I wouldn't say that we have a lack of food. But another thing we could do is grow some golden birches along this. And that way, we don't have to re-sow it constantly. And there's some functional advantage to that. Um, that might be the only meaningful tip I really had. Alright, so Damien. We're going to change some beds around. And Salandri. There we go. These other beds are going to be installed into hospital. Now, we did vote on a sort of, um, oh, Hobbit swords are done. We did vote on a, oh, something died. On a sort of great room. Um, so I'm first going to work on sort of the defenses, and then I'm going to work on a sort of great meeting room. Oh, Jag is demented. That's too bad. Kamasia, thanks for gifting out some subs to the community. That's very generous of you. Alright, so Jag, taking a look at you, uh, I might try to sell Jag. That's oh, a little sad, but a demented old horse does our defenders no good. I don't want to butcher it. I don't need the glue. But... We have been mostly working with limestone, have we not? Yes. 
Uh, let's go ahead and limestone up the gate door area a little bit. It's a very cool front door, yeah. I entirely agree. We got a little bit of our barracks here. Wow, some of these weapons and armor. Really not very good. So another minute to do, and I think it will be time to assign our new rescuee. I haven't actually given skills out yet. So it says you're a digger, but um, the dwarves are obviously always going to be better at digging than, than you are. Um, no offense. You have a deep passion for art, though. Are you sure you're a hobbit? <laughs> Doesn't seem very hobbity, hobbity to me. Yeah, you're right about this music. Battle music or something. Well, I feel like I should be running around like mountainsides. Not just in life here. Alright, so these hospital beds are getting expanded. There they go. And we can hospitalize just about half of our population if we needed to. Um, Alright, so the security area uh, we're working on now. We have a huge amount of fertile soil up here that I intend to um, capitalize on at some point. Let's check our animals. So, some of the animals weren't properly being trained, so we'll get that going on. And all of the animals that are able to haul will be unrestricted so they can haul for us, and all the other ones are going to be restricted. Thank you, Jeremiah, for the resub. <laughs> Gotta drink my mead here, right? Mead made with uh, coffee beans. All right, so I'm really curious about Hanova's beard. Oh, so now it's all pink, 100% pink. I really, I in truth don't know what's going on with that at all. So, Jag, once you give birth, oh, uh, 28? 28 is actually not that old for a horse. I don't know why they have dementia this young. Uh, so, the gut worm's going to require treatment. Uh, Lorlando, you have gut worms. And who else has gut worms? Damien. Turning up my own uh, headset. All right, Droiden. We, I know I let the goblins stab you in the eye. I do apologize for that. Rum Rum, you're starving. Oh, well, because of gut worms, yes. All right, Droid, you're not done. Let's tend them all. Gut worms are very, very annoying. So the hospital is nice and warm. Um, there are some other places that should probably be warm, given that we have enough wood to do it. So I'm going to make the research room warm, and that accelerates research. And then I'm also going to make the crafting room warm for the same reason. We're going to have to close the doors behind us. Uh, you should really be sleeping up here. Even though it's cold. I wish I had the wood to heat up each bedroom, but I, I don't. Are there sterile types of tile? No, you cannot get sterility, but you, what you are able to do is get neutrality. So, neutral clean, but there is no sterile tiles. So, you know, the hospital is never going to be sterile so much as it just can be clean. Some simple meals coming from Madzy. One of my newest patrons. Well, thank you, Mads. Appreciate that. All right, so we're getting a little bit of a um, 
a stockpile of useful stuff here. And I think it's about time for the Hobbit giveaway. Baraga, congratulations. So I'm going to be assigning um, Klein NF to you. Oh, we just got the, what did we get? We got uh, some more research. And carpet making and uh, long blades, probably. Um, but when you have a chance, just drop me a hobbit name for your hobbit to have. I'll be looking for it in the chat. Just tag me, and uh, we'll get that all set up. I did pipe weed under hobbit. I, I'm... I think when you make a comment, you have to include all of the context or it will be lost. This is a, uh, a common problem I've been having. So Sasquatch, uh, one thing I want you to do is let's start making different weapons. So we have the sort of best possible weapons for our hobbits, these basket hilted swords, and I'm going to make them out of steel. I don't have any mithril yet. Um, obviously mithril would be the best, but uh, we'll make it out of steel for now. Let's make it with Sasquatch, bring it to Temp Crafting. Someone else will haul it where it needs to be. And taking a look at your skills here. Uh, here they are. You have a lot of uh, passions, actually. You're kind, undergrounder, and depressive. Your restrictions are all, there we go, all set up. I guess I should call these human social drugs. Or Hubeb, whatever I just typed. Holy moly, that was wrong. So we don't look at human as the default, but just like one of many. This cold snap is quite cold. Uh, all the animals that are stuck right now in my, inside of my walls, I'm going to clear out taking a look at my food I'm pretty much just doing uh, bread like your bread that's our entire food here another part of me sort of thinks that it would be wise to get a second field stove Timberwolf is hunting Shep for food uh oh Shep you are really not where you should be Zingspur thanks for the resub um where is D Damien? You're here. Damien probably runs the fastest. But Reyna and... Reyna will start running south. So Landry, you also run pretty good. The uh, elves definitely fleet afoot. Despite the fact that the dwarves say they're sprinters. Uh, they're outpaced. Shep's actually booking it pretty good. Shep feels ready for the fight. Yeah, that's right. We are a team. Oh, now you get revenge? Yeah, no, no revenge for you. Alright, well, don't need to worry about that. Would Vic work? Uh, sure, you're male, but Vic would work. I don't know how hobbity that name is, but eh, who am I to judge? Alright, so what I'd like to do is clear out all the animals that are around inside my walls so that we're sort of vermin, vermin free. Um, I'm also trying to think of how to go about expanding the kitchen without taking up too much of the prime real estate. Um, I'm going to move some things around here. And that way we can get... Uh, two field stoves, because it seems like we're having a hard time keeping up with the elvish bread demand. It's just good stuff. So taking a look over here, this is not really uh, 
I could definitely change this floor print. I don't think this farm is used enough to matter that much. And then we'll bump this out so it has more space, a larger kitchen. I should have probably just planned for it that way. All right, so the basket, basket hilted swords are becoming done. Jeremiah, I want you to have the first one. I'll queue that up after what you currently have. And checking the DPS changes, right? Because we didn't know how good it is. Uh, this has a melee DPS of 509. And this has a melee DPS of 865. Melee armor penetration of 29%. Whereas this is a melee penetration of uh, 18%. Oh, but this thing makes you better at sewing and planting. Uh, whereas this probably does not. Either way, I'd rather have the better sword. Uh, we do have a raid. Oh, right, I did piss off the high elves. We have ten high elves coming in. Um, that's not good. Let's go put animals into wide grazing. All of them. Uh, Vic, you can inherit the... Other weapon that I'm, um... Oh, Jeremiah, I wanted you to actually grab that. Droiden, Derry, Damien, Cylindry. Uh, Derry, you could probably ditch that, uh... That helmet of yours. I don't really have a concept of both... Brawling and range for each race. Which might end up being a little annoying. Here's the battle music. And beer to celebrate, I am assuming. Alright. We're gonna get our bows up. Wow, why was Rum Rum... I don't... Are they frozen? Okay, now they're moving. Uh, some cram from Cardoza. Hey, Cardoza, thanks for the cram. And wood from Crazy Jack. A lot of wood, too. Uh, Alright, Rum Rum, you definitely are going to want to get somewhere safer. Uh, let's pop this door open so they actually have a point of attack. And I think Lorlando, Jeremiah, and Shep, you can go about your business. Not dismissing your combat prowess, but you guys are pretty... Oh, they got in. Hmm. All right, Rum Rum, you don't currently have a uh, Rumorium. I should really call you what your name is. Um, you and Foley, or Reyna and Foley, you're going to go deal with uh, the elf on the shelf. Where'd the... Uh, oh, there's the ankle butter. Uh, Rumorium. I think an iron mace is dwarf enough that it doesn't violate the whole... Um, The whole only using race weapons. I hope. Shield, thanks for uh, gifting out a bunch of subs. So you did ask about your animal. I saw that. Um, everyone should be okay. Yeah, yeah. You're with well within the um the walls. You're bonded and all that. I don't know about crawl. Crawl here is looking like he's getting roughed up pretty bad. But Foley is coming to help. Oh. Dang! I don't actually know how you did that much damage in one hit, but well done, Foley. You, uh, failed the foul elf. It's funny, because we're actually trying to, you know, befriend the elves. Okay, so what I obviously need here is a doc. Vic, you're very, very bad at being a doctor, but, um, you're going to be on it. Capture more elves for new members. Uh, it's possible that I should do that before, um, yeah, we'll see. How did you get stabbed? Oh, they had a social fight and you lost. Ambrosia coming down. Crawl, I'm trying to save you. I'm having, um... Vic, yep, Vic's already on top of you with, uh, eight meds. So one of the goals, oof, you died, good. One of the goals is to ally the, you know, all the races that we can ally. 
Oh, that was a cheap shot. Um, and with that said, I should eventually ally these guys. Oh, you hit fully. Little torso shot. Well, if there's anything like Sean Bean, it takes like six more to take him down. All right, our um, defense pretty good here. I think actually what we could do is, yeah, let's let's keep fighting and see who can, we can knock down. Everything seems to be killing. Oh, there we go. Uh, Myers. Yeah, that's a name. Uh, Jeremiah. I don't know how you're. No, oh, you can't capture right now. Um, Alex. Well, we already have an elf, right? So how many elves do we need? Yeah, I guess two more, right? Let's go try this. We have one prisoner already. I'll get another bed up. Um, oh, and shield. Thanks for the resub. All right, so this elf lord here is going to die pretty soon. Man, these guys did not do well. Their raid totally thwarted by my defenses. Maybe uh, Jeremiah's premonition dream was wrong. Maybe. Damien, go consume that meal. Nova. Okay, all's well that ends well, I guess. I hope. Cool. Other wooden bed. Maybe you're gonna stand around here waiting to uh, treat this patient because he's gonna die in what, three hours? Four hours? Okay. Got my best doc on the case. And then little Jeremiah. Get a new bed. Uh, if only that jerk of a other person would stop standing on it. Ooh, it's an excellent one. Klein, thanks for the resub. Three motes for the chat. That's it's kind. Okay. So now we've freed up some uh, vital space for cooking. We'll expand that out, and we have added a lot to the pantry. Look at all you guys subbing and resubbing. Raz, Raz all gold. Oh well, we have a villain in our midst. But um, it's funny actually. I, I made a uh, I made a an arrow joke just yesterday on stream, and someone was like, "Oh, I should go back and watch some of that." I like the earlier seasons myself. I got to say, a lot of the DC shows, um. Don't have lasting power for me. So, uh, the mass graves. Let's go ahead and queue up a mass grave out here. Brawl, how'd you fare? You seem to be okay. We did patch you up. You don't even have scars. You've fared better than even Droiden. We're gonna make unrestricted animals a thing again. I never restricted my own self. I just made sure to recruit everybody so they didn't wander away. And Jeremiah is building the mass grave. Good. Uh, this warm bowl makes you warmer. I think I'd be really, really uncomfortable with that in real life. All right, so we have a mass grave here. We are going to allow fresh or rotten human likes that are strangers. Oh, where are you hauling? Oh, uh, yeah, no, I don't need you to do that anymore. Okay, and this has a capacity of 20. More Ambrosia, gifted because he was saved. Welcome. I try not to lose animals if I can help it. And a manhunter pack of wild boars. Food delivery service, so to speak. Well, we have mostly a vegetarian uh, community, but sure, thanks, I guess. Uh, let's make sure that we don't have anyone wandering out there.
And we got some milk. Who's being milked? Eternal Grim, thanks for the sub. Uh, I don't think AI is going to fare well here. Uh, t Tang, thanks for the bits. Supporting this series and the other ones. Alright, so if it's possible to rescue AI... Uh, nope, definitely, definitely not. Well, rip. My relationships with them... Oh, from the, with the Northmen? Wait, you were with the Northmen? Oh, interesting. They sent a hobbit. I don't know why. Okay, Reyna, that's good enough. I don't actually need the meat, so what I'm planning on doing is just keeping people home for now. Man, that door is really ill-placed because I totally don't see it that easily. And we have another Tory Talker event. Um, let me see. <laughs> I got a whisper from you, uh, TWC. I was wondering about that. I am not my own bot. <laughs> I have a weird request. Maybe Klein, you can answer this for me. So I have the Mass Graves mod, but you're supposed to be able to make like an industrial mass grave. And I don't know where that is. So I guess I'm asking you if you could look it up for me. I don't know, kind of lame, right? But uh, maybe it's just blotted out because I don't have the right precursor tech or something. I don't know. You think your um, retriever would like a meat diet? Yeah, uh, true. Well, we're feeding you kibble that's made with horse meat. Ooh, that's made with meat. Let's ignore the type of meat. Alright, so these boar don't really know how to get to me because they're not about to bash my walls down. Cold snaps over. That's quite fortunate. Some pipe weed from Vic. I'm just going to call you Vic now. Unless you don't want me to. And good and bad in equal amounts. That's very um, Tolkien of you guys. Uh, so here's the other basket hilted swords. The thing about this is Vic here is a grower and a plant cutter, so it might actually be wise to have an ankle biter axe. Um, so forget that last sword. Let's make as good of a um Ooh, bunch of deer went mad too. That was the bad event, I'm assuming. Uh, but my doors are already closed and everyone's forbidden from going out, so I don't really need to worry about that. Sorry. But already engineered a solution. Uh, I'm going to try to make a pitchfork and also make the ankle butter axes uh, to see if uh, what kind of passive bonuses we got with them. And then I should also start making weapons for Rumorium too, because he should have some sort of dwarf weapon. There's a lot of rabbit animals. Reminds me of the uh, scene of the crows in Lord of the Rings when all the crows kind of go mad and want to try to murder you. This is reminiscent. Oh, in the mod menu. Okay. Um, mass graves. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to um, cheat and add a lot more capacity to them. I actually don't see... Okay, there we go. Here's a mass grave. Much better. All right. So the idea here is um, to store the corpses way more conveniently. Thanks for that. I really appreciate it. Uh, let me know that. I should have looked it up beforehand, but I, I added this, like, really at the last minute. I'll be honest. Um, I didn't feel like igniting all the corpses would be... I don't know. That doesn't seem very heroic Lord of the Ringy. I guess not. I don't know. Not like our Lord of the Ring heroes and series were burning up corpses either. Alright, so there's a panic room within a panic room. I'm gonna build some grooves over it. And that way, if we have shields breached, uh, we can hide. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, right. Burning the orcs. Right. True, true. Well, I could always uh, re-enable the, the mod that allows us to uh, burn corpses. Alright, I think I'm just starving. Oh, actually, I'm just starving because I'm actually starving. Alright, Jeremiah. I don't want you to relax. I want actual productivity with this uh, this kitchen here. Uh-oh. Vic is already psychedictic. Okay, so there's something wrong, I think, given the body size of these uh, hobbits. They get... Psycho T every three days got them addicted, so... I don't think hobbits are going to have social drugs. Or maybe we'll do pipe weed every five days, only if the mood is really low. Because um, that is the third addiction that we've had, uh, which is absurdist. The problem is, when your body size is so low, you get addicted really, really easily. And that's just not balanced. Uh, so long blades were just researched. I'm pretty much done with a lot of the major research here. Um, go with top tier dwarf weapons. Yeah, we'll just we'll just have our uh, our hobbits have second breakfast. It's dead. A little bit be a little bit safer. Let's go ahead and make one more light. There's a goblin pitchfork. Actually, you know what? I don't think I specified the type of material. And I was stupid to do that because this is uranium. I have a waste of uranium. Uh, but this pitchfork gives a little bit of a plant bonus. This pl is 9%, so it's the same. Uh, Vic, you're going to have a pitchfork because you're going to be our one of our farmers. I could kill these animals, but I don't really need the meat. And they're eventually going to lose their um, manhunteredness. So I can just wait them out. I don't really have a sense of urgency about dealing with them, to be honest. Alright, let's make sure this last ankle biter axe is with steel instead of other materials. And if we're out of iron, let's add to it, to it. There is absolutely plenty of iron around the colony. That's probably going to be enough for now. <laughs> Fourth breakfast. Alright, so the whole purpose of this expansion here was to enable a second um, stove. Nova, you're just closest, so I'm going to make you do it. If you're wondering about the features in this um, mod, you will have to wait and see, won't you? I know, not fair, but... So I'll, I'll leave that there. Alright, so this should really accelerate our ability to... Uh, Make some elven bread. We'll actually have surplus for once. I feel like Karagors are about to attack me with this current music. Come on, aren't you bored of... Okay, some of them are already bored. There are something similar to Balrogs, just to let you all know. Not exactly Balrogs, but close. As far as furniture goes, let's move these beds a bit back to normal. And I'm going to start to add in some nice... Um, Adding granite tile, have have some self-respect. It's funny because you don't really think of um 
Oh, you know what? These are the wrong materials. You don't really think of uh, uh, hobbits being uh, architects and builders. That's kind of a dwarf thing, but Jeremiah has a unique set of skills. So don't kidnap his daughter. Alright, Chef, you want the other basket hilt? This ankle biter. Chef, are you a, a planter? No, not really. You don't work with plants. So we'll give you the other little butter axe. Uh, dairy, leveling up a little bit in crafting as well. Uh, another thing I ought to do is try to recruit this, um, this elf prisoner I have. Wait, Andy, welcome. Yeah, ankle biter sounds funny. Oh, they have a direction that I'm unaware of. Oh well, whatever, they'll... I guess it's better feng shui to have your feet not face the, the door anyway, right? That's a thing. Gonna get rid of one of the extra campfires around. Getting a little bit warmer. Okay, these animals have been like, how are they? They're gonna die of malnutrition before they go away, aren't they? All right, I might, I might actually start considering to shoot them because they've been around so long. Looks like uh, our moderator is putting together a pull free wall and a prison brick. Well, Derry is standing right there, but that will be two versus one. I don't want Shep stabbing- well, no, I kind of want Shep stabbing them. Second thought. That sounds funny. Hobbit beatdown! Oof, that's actually some pretty deep wounds there. Almost took his arm off. I think Shep just murdered him. You cut off his head. Okay, well, uh, slight regret. <laughs> Shep decapitated one of my prisoners. <clears throat> yep. Well done, Shep. Oh, I, you know what? Actually, your, your melee skill is uh, pretty pretty up there. Uh, I should have probably been aware of that. Okay, I'm definitely tired of these things, these boars now. Thought they'd move on, and they have not. So, they will die. Oh well, one elf. I'll just have to capture another one. They've been raiding me anyway, so it shouldn't be that hard. Alright, so another thing I should probably do is the mass graves I have. Uh, I don't want to travel so far to bury people. Uh, but I do want to put them out of, out of the way, so... I'll put them sort of back here. And then I'll put another one maybe here for now. Might want to move it later on. I don't know. I'm bad at this kind of setting. How did the Hobbadev even reach the head? Uh, I don't know. Maybe you tossed. Don't tell me. I do, I do want to double wall. Well, I know you can toss dwarves, but I'm assuming tossing um, hobbits would be even easier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cheese this a little bit. Uh, mass graves, I'm just going to say like a thousand. Um, that way we don't have a colony full of mass graves, just for aesthetic purposes, really more than anything else. Uh, do I still have some... Seriously? You guys are still manhunted? Can you chill? Alright, uh, 
Um, let's go deal with these manhunter boars. Clearly, they're possessed by magics. There's truly no other explanation. Um, for why they are so persistent. So, Damien, Celadri, Foley, and Reyna. I'm gonna go out and deal with them. They're probably spies for, uh... For evil forces. Alright, that's a nice place to tuck graves in. I probably only needed one of those. Nope, Shep, that's... I know you can decapitate elves, but... I'm not gonna have you tank. So maybe I will. Okay, there we go. Oh. Closing again. The back, uh, iron coming down from air. Uh, Rain is pretty decked full of gear. Yeah, come on. You want some? We're handing out free butt kickings. Checking numbers. I'm cleared. So let's continue on our way. Uh, they normally change back after... They changed back after a while, but clearly those didn't. They were just possessed. Uh, Jag, have you given birth yet? Alright, I'm, uh, I'm not gonna butcher you, but I will probably bring you to sell. I don't need a geriatric horse, um, opening my base up to raiders because it's wandering. Sorry, Jag. Yeah, you you got a little old. So this mass grave holds a thousand. Uh, we're gonna allow fresh human likes that are strangers, and we did not put it near a water source. We have a lot of meat that's spoiling. Okay, so another thing I wanted to do is elven loaf, lembus flour. Simple meals. I don't, I'm not really using simple meals. Psychic teas. And grams. Okay, this shelf here is going to be for vegetables. Actually, it should be for lembus corn. So let me copy and paste. Yeah, perfect. Brawl just bought some art skills for Shep. My two little hobbits, of course they'd be obsessed with food. Why of course, that makes ma makes sense. I'm gonna uh, put some Malorn wood stools here for them to stand on while they cook. He definitely just went down the wrong tube. So we have some Haradrim coming in. <clears throat> uh, could I lock them into a death march? I could, yes. <clears throat> Alright, before I advance too much time, let's make sure that no one is way outside of our walls and they aren't. Or in the door like an elf on the shelf. Uh, yeah, actually, I could lock them in with an animal, too. It doesn't necessarily need to be, um, a hobbit or something. Animals would work, and it would be a little bit less expensive. Okay, let's get people to the walls. And where is a Sasqua? I'm gonna bring Raina here. I do really like how they have a faction color. That's very cool for me. Some of these guys have goblin weapons, but actually, you know what? That kind of makes sense. Oh, 
All right, new pole is up. I'll get to that after this raid. One more of these people and they should probably turn up. Yep, there they go. All right, I don't want more bodies to bur bury, even if they are evil humans named Kirby. Evilest of evil human names. Um, all right, let's get this pole up for you all. <clears throat> if Discord would load. Focus, focus. No. Discord's like, uh-uh. You ain't no Gandalf. Uh, Alright, well, I will get it up to vote on as soon as, um, as soon as I'm able, but currently my Discord is... I'm gonna restart Discord entirely. Uh, one second. Nothing like the tech that you rely on failing you midstream, right? That's of course what's happening. I think there's a Discord outage for me. Okay, it's not just me. Discord is having problems. Cool. Uh, sure, yeah, you can post in chat. Discord is down for all of us. All right. Well, thanks for the confirmation. <clears throat> or you can whisper it to me. That works too. <laughs> Rip Discord. All right, there we go. Thank you. Episode goals, copying, and pasting. So, go on a quest, deep uh, mining, deep dwarven mining, or uh, warm clothing. Sounds like sensible goals. Me. I'll leave that up for a few minutes. You want to be the evil god of mad animals? Oh, well, these mad animals are already propping open my doors. So, Hanova, could you just deal with this raccoon? Or frost whale? <laughs> my sheep just stomped your raccoon to death. <laughs> oh, that was great. that little panic kill box all set up visitor name colon that doesn't that name does not translate well <laughs> colon's visiting me wonder if he has a sister named oscopy It's probably Colin, but, you know. I'll call him what he is. Animal Herder Caravan from the Northman. Alright, Northman. I'm oh, sorry, you saw the dead bodies. It's a real close poll. Yeah, definitely vote if you haven't voted yet. Because this one's a... Uh... Hasn't really been determined yet. Uh, one thing I do definitely need is uh, some regular wood. The one problem with being in a Malorn forest, and I know I've mentioned this before, is it's really hard to not to, to cut down the trees you want to cut down and leave the Malorn ones alone. Because unfortunately, the Malorn ones don't um, get fed into campfires and things like that. So they act and behave a little bit differently. Uh, as far as work goes, Droiden, I want you to start hunting those uh, alpha beavers because they've been stripping. In fact, Damien, I'm going to have you do the same. They've been stripping my map of good trees to use. Uh, so let's lift restrictions here. People coming down from Snowbelt. Hey, Snow. He's saying making it clear weather. Good hunting weather. And uh, I just missed something because I right clicked on it really, really, really quickly. That was wood coming down from red. Awesome. 
So we have a bit of a trade going on out there. And let's see. Colonists for trade price improvement. Ooh, best weapons are now researched. Let's do for Elven ones. Um, what was I doing? Trade price improvement would be Jeremiah, the Tinker Lad. And a lot of wood coming from Des. Des Delka. Thank you. I'll keep us warm. It's actually not that cold. So here's the trade. Um, I'm going to sell Jag because Jag is already confused and wandering around. Uh, I have a ton of cloth that I could sell. Uh, let's see, what do they have to buy? I'm going to keep... What's the difference of light leather and plain leather? 81. Alright, plain leather is better than light leather. This is more than they can... Oh, you know what? I'm going to buy their wood. And that will help streamline that a bit. I'm going to buy their kibble as well. I think we're good. It's going to be kind of a pain to haul all this back, but... Maybe the animals will do some of the hauling. With the sad music. So, in, as far as research goes, we do have the ability to make dwarf, <coughs> noble dwarf swords, dwarf crossbows, and a dwarf double-headed axe. Upgrade. Oh, Barrage room attacking immediately. There's not too many of them. Um... Still trying to bury the last group that attacked us. Uh, I think they're coming to you, Jordan. All right, let's close this door. Uh, they don't know how to. Oh, this door's open. I'm gonna leave this door open, open. Loka. You know, I should probably also put a mass grave here, given how often they die <clears throat> right around there. Dry thunderstorm. There are too many trees. Oops. And back to burying you. Let's copy the settings here and paste them over. Now, oh, don't consume them. Uh, why is he not allowed in here? Stranger. Oh, because it's currently being interacted with. I see. Beer from Jamlik. And that raid was from Apocalypse. Looks to me like I have a decent amount of stuff to go caravan to a neighbor. Take a look at this poll. This poll, it's 22 to 26, so I'm going to leave it up a little bit longer. It's been up for seven minutes. I'll, I'll leave it up for a few minutes longer. Actually, no, I'm going to finish it off. So deep mining is done. I'm finishing it because there's a Tory Talker event up there that I don't want to block. So, I guess I will start mining this way. I don't want to mine clear to the border of the map so that we don't open a new way for people to attack us, but definitely we'll open that up. Another thing I wanted to do is uh, let's get rid of this junk. Let's make um, a dwarf crossbow, a dwarf double axe, and a sword. We'll make it out of steel. Well, this doesn't have a choice. Um, and Sasquatch, you're our only smith. Oh, Nova's actually pretty close on your tails, smithing-wise.
crafting burning passion. Yeah, you're both burning passions. And these new weapons should be pretty cool. As far as the uh, next event that happens, it has to be voted on uh, by whispering the bot, Rad Twitch bot. <clears throat> Unlike the polls that I put up, um, these things are required to um, required to uh, uh, to whisper the bot. What's got you? Oh, you're, uh, you're detoxing. That's right. Steel coming down from Pingling. Thanks for the steel. Howdy. Orlando getting a little bit of a melee boost. You all voted for colonist, and it interpreted not as a new colonist, but just a melee boost. That's me. So, we're getting a proper, proper panic room, and I, I plan on setting some of these up around the colony. But I do want to work on that great call that I sort of promised that you you all that I would do. So this is a direct result of Jeremiah's premonition dream. That event clear weather from Sar. Thanks, Sar. Alright, so the Great Hall, right? I think I'm gonna make the Great Hall here. Donkeys join? Spam animals. Spam animals. Alright, donkeys. You are one of each gender. Definitely going to want to get rid of you soon, because I don't particularly like having a huge, unwieldy population of animals. Dry Thunderstorm V-Dog <clears throat> throws at us. The gods throwing weather back and forth. All right, so as far as entries go, that's watching the days because of drowsiness. I've been there. Beer coming down from Pink Link. Thanks, Pink. Alright, I don't know how ugly this is going to end up being, but I will try for it to not be so weird. Now I'm going to forbid it. Just so that I can kind of lay it out. Still sort of brainstorming about how I want this to look. I might need uh, a bigger footprint, honestly. So the idea was to incorporate all of the different architecture styles all into one. Uh, but I think what I'm going to do is have it be a grand hall. I'm gonna procedurally fill up the space here, and having the like Discord trying to, to to work in the background, I just minimized it. Very very annoying. So elves and. This is not as epic as I... Oh, well, these doors are too big. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna work carefully here. Dwarven mead coming. Ooh, dwarf drinks. Thanks. How to make this prettier? Hey, okay, both of you are cooking. Look with gas now. Good. Hmm. 
Why not use the plenty bits in the or- Well, I'm still sort of brainstorming, and I want to brainstorm. Uh, I can't see the actual doors and all that if I plan it like that, so. So here's what I'm going to go with. I am... This is one of the songs I like more on the soundtrack. Hard to hear it over the uh, storm, though. Try to work on this while the game is uh, rolling. This is going to cost a lot of material, but it was a voted goal, so. Changing my mind yet again, sorry. <clears throat> ah, therein lies the problem, right? Constantly changing my mind. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a um I know how I wanna lay it up. I got it in my head now. I'll set it up bit by bit. Uh, the bot is down. All right, I can fix that. And these horizontal doors look all sorts of wrong. If that's the way I want it. Okay. How much did you miss since the start of the stream? All of it. Technically correct is the best kind of correct. This is also going to require an immense amount of uh, limestone, so let's go back to limestone. Is there something I'm low on? Uh, no. Oh, not at all. Fortunately for once. Probably gonna end up moving this uh, road or this gate. So shrink this down. Bot is still dead. All right, let me uh, let me dig into that. I think it's uh, I think someone's killing the bot with events purchase. So keep track of what's being purchased and don't buy it. If you keep buying something and the last thing that gets bought kills the bot, uh, that is something that should not be purchased. Sorry to put the uh, wine from Nuno and uh, Seraphin sending wood. Thank you. Just be sort of keep an eye on what you're buying. 
because something that someone is buying is probably uh, murdering said bot. So that's somewhat the layout. I'm not worried too much about symmetry. Oh, that gate looks all sorts of weird. That's okay. Limestone blocks coming down from Pink Link. Yeah, I suppose limestone's probably what I'm most low on, but um, I do have a deep mining project to work on, so I figured that that project would feed this project. I think what I'm going to do is move the exit here. and deconstruct this jazz. Blemo. Even more limestone blocks from Tornado, thank you. I'm okay with the way this looks. I can always tweak it once it's more built, but I'm gonna lay out uh, the way it. I'm gonna lay it out now. Yeah, I sure like your storms. All right, let's check animals. No, not that kind of animals. Uh, donkeys. That event, more dry thunderstorm. What is this, calm before the storm or something? Oh man! Literally got hit by lightning. I have a plan for the center there. Clear weather. Line. <laughs> and then Free Dog sending another dry thunderstorm. Free Dog wants the thunder. Clearly. You know what? I'm gonna min max this a little bit better. Can't win a weather battle with the moderator. That's all right. Storms are fun. I want to look at which doors are open up north before the next raids happen. Good point. Caravan request: a bunch of ankle biter axes for a plasteel long beard, beard dwarf helmet. And a panther fur traveler pack. Um, yeah, I suppose that allows me to flex, I guess, some of my skills. Although I gotta say, we um, we've really not been cranking out weapons. Sasquatch, you just want to mine all day long? Is that it? Yeah, I'm gonna lower Sasquatch's uh, demand for mining and get him be crafting. 
Right, Smith, my friend, Smith. Uh, Mike Rue, you might want to move. You know, if I were you. And just That actually didn't do anything, but I thought I was prompting him. Small rig, big raid, or skill increase. Alright, so this should not be... Don't worry about this, people. Actually, you know what? I, I don't want my forest to burn. Let's put this out. Uh, Derry saying, neurotic and industrious. Uh, well, it's really Hanova versus uh, Sasquatch. Sasquatch is industrious as well. Just not currently smithing. Sasquatch, why do I have to keep telling you to smith? I want you to have that awesome axe, but you gotta make it first. That's probably a trade order I'll end up uh, fulfilling at some point. Alright, there we go. There's the bill. It is excellent. So, what is the DPS of this thing? This thing has an engraving of... Him making a helmet? Okay, that's all sorts of confusing. But, um, the DPS is 14-4 with a 64 penetration. Versus... Wait, 24? Hang on. No, I don't want the shelf. 14-4... And this flexing one is way higher. What is going on here? Uh, let me take a look. I think what, what this is, is it's very slow attacking, and it hits very hard. Oh, you know what it is? Uh, it's edge cuts. Uh, so when it edge cuts, it's really, really high damage, but every other, uh, other type of attack kind of sucks with it. I don't know if that's a bug or not. Uh, the armor penetration is actually not that big of a deal, especially when you're fighting goblins. Um... Yeah. So one of its types of attacks does a lot of damage, the other one's not so much. Ooh, more high elves. Or elf. And it's raining. And dry thunderstorming. You guys are fighting over the weather. Free dog saying it's a karma fix after all that weather weather fighting. I can see that. Alright, so a little elf musician is coming. We have a new recruit, which is going to be auctioned off in a minute. Or whatever. Assigned, I should say. Oh, that's stag meat that's just gone to waste. So, if you want to be eligible for said new recruit, all you got to do is type something in general chat. Oh, did you cut her head off again? No, you just did something else. Well, that poor little elf was not ready for the brawling fight. Uh, we have another raid here of goblins. They're all bow goblins. Let's get inside of our walls. Especially with two injured uh, brawlers out there. The animals I'm just going to put on wide grazing so they stay inside. And just like always, if you got a bow, you got to go. I'm going to restrict everybody to home zone. All right, so Alex here, if you're curious, beautiful, abrasive, hypersensitive, uh, shooter, construction, and needs assignments. So we'll allow you to hunt and construct. As far as assignments go, you're going to need to be an elf and elf stuff. Over with the elves. Uh, you're also good at, at shooting, so let's get you a bow. You know what? All those bows are down here. Can you run there before they get there? Oh, the, um, lovely. My bridge burned. That's a lot of wood I'm going to have to spend to put back. That's a bummer. Right, I don't think you can get to the bows prior, so I'm going to have you hang out here. Not even worry about it. 
Uh, Sasquatch and Nova and Reyna. Tornado sending some more wood. Thank you. And Morpheus as well. Able Kia saying, what happened to my karma? I don't know. What'd you do? These goblins are like, oh god, if only there was a bridge here. That little jerk. Alright, Derry, go get some medical attention. They're already fleeing. You go get that uh, warm bow. That bow of fuzzy feelings. Meteorite of Marma. Almost landing on those, uh, that wild, um, bird of, uh, stags. These raids are too easy. Yeah, the plan is, once I'm, I feel like I've assembled a force, I'm make, gonna make them cheaper. Of course, I have to be a little cautious because the last time I did that, it backfired considerably. Sappers be sapping, you know? Uh, trait Jogger for Vic. So I think that new axe is honestly not worth using, which is really too bad. Um, it's the way it is. There's a lot of meat that we're just sort of letting spoil, I suppose. I'm gonna call this the Grove. So, I'm a, I'm just sort of suspecting that my wood requirements are never gonna really uh, subside. I'm always gonna need a ridiculous amount of wood. So I'm just gonna make a giant grove of trees to fuel my uh, wood requirements. And then maybe at some point, I switch this over to something else. But for now, um, having to be gifted wood over and over and over just means that I'm not properly preparing for my own um, colony needs. So. I would do just that. Uh, and then elf bows are all researched up. Uh, I don't have elf armor or dwarf armor, but I'm gonna do dwarf armor first because my dwarves get brawled a lot more often. More wood from Tornado. Thank you. These storms are definitely burning the bridges. That's what's been going on. More raids from the Haradrim. So one of the advantages of raids in this mod uh, versus some of the other ones, or some of my other series, is there's only a few types of enemies that can attack. So the chances of um, raiding parties being hostile with one another are a lot lower. Meaning that, you know, you can get more bang for your buck. Like, I mean, it's possible that you get Haradrim and uh, goblins and they fight each other, but there's a pretty good chance that it's just, you know, one or the other. Supercard is sending 200 wood or 190. Awesome. And then um, Shram sent the raid here. And another raid of bandit dwarves. I guess there's also bandit dwarves. And. For now, there's also the uh, the elves, too, because I made them mad about capturing one of their own. And that's something we're going to have to remedy. But uh, it looks like I need, what, one more Hummet, one more elf? What did the... Oh, these guys are just stealing and leaving. Are you sure? That works for you.
Raffle for new pawn? That sounds good to me. Apocalypse. Congratulations. Alexander here is going to be your character. Uh, what I need from you is an elf name to go with the character. Making sure that... Um, Don't bother buying into the queue, it's not that kind of queue. For now, I'm just going to name it Epo, but whatever name you come up with. Aramil? Alright, that will do. Trying to catch up on chat here. Uh, Dobby, uh, Klein doesn't even have the ability to do that. Just throw that out there. Alright, so I do have a group of raiders coming in. I should probably do something about that, right? Oh, they're really a much bit closer than I was prepared to deal with, but that's alright. We, uh, we got back up. Ooh, Hanova. You took a really, really nasty shot to the face, losing an eye and an ear. through that thick helmet of yours. Alright, these guys are fleeing, but let's back off and get Damien. I should have prepped for that better. Not expecting first shot to be, like, face disfiguring the way it was. Why are you still following me? Do you not know what fleeing means? I mean, fine. I will teach you what fleeing means. Dennis and Balor... Prepare to get learned. Silly dwarves. Now there is a dwarf here, but I have four dwarves, so I'm not gonna worry about that one. Let them bleed out. Is this the fourth wood I've sent? Probably. But me answering that question also breaks the fourth wall. Oh, you ran north. Okay, fully, go get some healing. This is a pretty good case for the fact that I need uh, better armor. Oh, what are you, busting your way? Aw, oh, man. Alright, what can we do about that? Don't break my doors, bruh. Aramil will repair it. Once he's done, let's repair it. Not home zone. All right, that would be my fault. I'm going to add some home zone walls to this area so that they can take care of them. Done. Now, I did say that I wanted to potentially um, go to that trade, right? I still do. Uh, but I really want to give Sasquatch the ability to heal up. Here's a lot of hay. What do we want to put instead? Let's put Double Strand. Right at the, the entrance door. That's not really a good idea, but whatever. Is what it is. I'm just gonna suspend butchering creatures for a bit. Uh, you know what? I I'm not, because they're what they're gonna end up doing is just rotting in there. And even more wood from shield. Slowly filling up these mass graves.
kind of wish that these beds were more obvious about what direction they face. So the need for superior um, armor is definitely weighing on me. It also looks like uh, I need to seek out some Malorn saplings to cut down. This construction project on the Elven halls are uh, sort of at a, at, at a pause. Nova's fully healed, but definitely not going to be the artist or crafter he once was due to the eye injury. Win Andy sending some clear weather and um, flying hooking me up with a little bit of Malorn. A lot of cloth though. Uh, hard snow, yeah, that's something you'll see in the 11th of September or September. Psychic wave, gut worms, or flu. me favorite weather events as far as everyone goes let's go unrestrict for now and wide grays nova is now female Pink beard makes sense. Uh, dairy. Skill versus degradation. That's a good question. More Malone word. From R. Ooh, snowy earthen hills. Sasquatch, you're still healing up. Uh, armor of the Hill, Iron Hills. All right, and then Armor of the Kingdom Under the Mountain will be the last for Dwarf Armor. And then we'll be able to crank out some seriously good armor, uh, keeping us nice and protected. Up the building's definitely fun. I agree with you there. They're pretty cool. All right, Rum, let's give you... Actually, let's give you this, what is, I'll give you this big axe. If I ever need a crazy high heavy hitter, I could send you in. Trait, purchase bloodlust from Aramil. Okay. Like shooting people, things. Bad hairs. Oh boy, there's a lot of them. Okay. Well, with this many, Let's go ahead and put all the animals away and restrict humans. I don't really want to die by hair. That's something you see in a multi Python sketch, but hopefully not in Lord of the Rings. Jeremiah's like, okay, I'm out of here. Dick Tvorak, huh? Oh, let's see this big old axe in progress. Its attack rate's dismal. But, you know, whatever. Rest.
All right, Damien, I'm just going to have you be on watch for a bit. Why is time slowing down? Oh. Someone tried to open the door. They probably should have. All right, surgery for Jordan is done. There's not a lot of surgeries that we can do. You guys should be really un undrafted. You guys, stop attacking my doors. You're bunnies. I really don't see a functional way that bunnies could ever win that fight. All right, Reyna. Get you up front and center. There's going to be some bunnies to smush. Here, little bunny. So, three left, maybe? Still yet more. There's four more left. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Well, I suppose we've av avoided a hairy situation. I can use the wargs for the rider right animal attacks. Yeah, I know. I could. I find um, using animals for fighting a little cumbersome, to be honest, and not all that useful. That's just me. I deserve a huge raid for that pun. Uh, that would be my punishment? I'm sorry, I really can't help myself. It's, it's a problem. <laughs> At least the ball rocks. That doesn't sound friendly. Mm. Herbal medicine coming down from Merlin Kane. Thank you. I probably need to send uh, a bit of a trade caravan. Uh, I know I didn't really get those ankle biters axes that I, I needed for the quest. Uh, but we still have 23 days left. That's actually a lot of time. All right, there's a dwarf crossbow. I think, Rum, you're going to get that thing. Keep you a little bit safer. Do I have a farm for herbal meds? Uh, I did at one point. I don't think I do anymore. We have another raid from goblins. Oh, for the bad pun puns? Cool. Or as they say in the 99. Cool, 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 cool. All right. Well, I guess that's fair. Uh, Noble Sword. And eh, where is that? Sasquatch, how good is this thing? It's even worse. So, I would say. This mod might need me to rebalance it a little bit more, if I'm going to be honest. Because it seems to me that the very simple walking axes that I have have much higher melee DPS than the higher tiered weapons that you get later on. And for why, I don't know. Actually, it's specifically... No, it's, it's actually his specific axe is all bugged out most of the other no even the other axes are pretty good too what about hanovas all right hanovas is terrible but all the others are like incredibly incredibly good i think just because they're magically infused today i learned
Okie dokie. Well, we've got both people on the walls, and we're rearing to go. Uh, they are infused. Well, alright, so Foley's axe. Last watch. Uh, actually, Rum go down here. Reina, Foley, Nova. Duck shoot time, indeed. So his axe is a destructive one, which has bonus to damage Foley's is, and then Sasquatch's is flexing, which has a huge bonus as well. So they are infused. You say they aren't, I say they are. Look at all these goblins wearing, like, parkas. Oh. <laughs> it's cute. Mad Doe from Otter Dancing. What is this? A labor axe? Makes you work a little faster? Goblins, though, and I don't have any goblins. Now we're getting lightly stabbed. How big was that raid? It doesn't tell me numbers. Seems to be a whole lot of them. There they go. Did you guys not come into the base when you flee? That's just not what fleeing is. No, we got beat up again. Gobman reminds me of... Uh... Oh, more. Okay. Fully go heal. Jordan, go down there. They're gonna start bashing their way out. Sorry, Vorak, you're unemployed. Londo probably is just a cheap look-alike for Frodo. Yeah, I am trying to teach them how to flee pro properly, but they're not so good at it. They need a lot of learning. Oh, didn't mean to minimize. Oh, look at these. Now I know why they were fleeing that way, because they're getting beat up by a doe. Kill those ones. I know, but you've had a bad time, huh? I need to make you better armor. healed all you up, so, uh, Droiden? Are we good now? Increased skill from the call medic. Ooh, I'm glad that you marginally leveled up your own. Man, that was not by much. Alright, I'm gonna go get a little aggressive here. They're coming in one at a time, I'm gonna teach them not to do that. 
All right, for once, they seem to be fleeing the correct direction. Bye-bye. Let's get some wood up in here. I think seeing the sight of a goblin really shouldn't be disgusting to anyone anymore. Couple walls and I could have a nice bottleneck. Uh, I know. There's a lot of projects to work on, though. Daskox with his go frenzy. Cool. Trying to get uh, proper clothing for everybody. Graham, I am out of food. I do see that. I have... Yeah, not a whole lot of food. So, um... It's also because I'm sort of out of, um... Wood as well. So I have some simple meals. That's... You know, there's plenty of to hunt. I'm actually not that worried about food. I'm butchering up some of the... The hares that wanted to fight... I could harvest uh, the Lembus early, uh, but what I'm probably going to do is just settle for simple meals until I'm good. Can I harness geothermal for heat? I could. There's really not any geothermal near me, though, uh, except for this one. And that only would be able to, you know, what do I want more? The, you know, fields full of, um, uh, you want fields full of rich soil, or do I want, like, a little steam vent? I think, for me, the, the deal's pretty clear. Clear weather. And what was that? Clear weather from Potato. Fram from Cardoza, warning me about my food situation. Alright, these halls are starting to look pretty good. Getting there. We're working on it. Little council halls. More mellow and wood for modern dancing. Thank you. And simple meals for Madzy. Wow, they really got delivered poorly, though. No fault of your own, but... God, did they fall far away. Alright, so I need to lift restrictions and get the animals back to helping me all. Also gonna butcher these um, donkeys. I need the meat. Limestone blocks. Whatever happened to my karma? So strange. Yes. Well, I think your karma was used to gain retribution from my bad puns. Totally understandable, mind you. Totally understandable. All right. Sorry, donkeys. Will not be marrying. Any, um, dragons or anything like that. I would say bad puns are the best puns. I mean, I, I'm totally with you there. Don't forget about the trade. I haven't. I have many, many, many hours to work that out. Uh, so let's go ahead and what I really want is better armor, right? So I'm currently in the process of making, researching the best armor that I can for, um, Uh, for dwarves, and then we'll we'll utilize that. We got a raid of bandit dwarves coming in. Ooh, a lot of them. Hello. 28 of them. You all said that, like, raids were too easy, but I'm getting low-key swarmed here, so I don't know what you're talking about. I'm gonna delightfully disagree. I really wish I could smelt. Uh, so, restrictions. Why, ooh, not why grazing for everybody. Um, let's maybe try to involve some animals this time around. So, the wargs. Droiden. Uh, instead of droiden, we'll have these be on Foley and Foley. We'll try to field both wargs in this fight.
Anova's like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave Anova out of this. All right, Shep, bring you down here. Belladry, I have no idea why you're standing there. But let's get you moved. Oh, it's because I assigned uh, zoning. All right, so as far as the animals go, uh, these two wargs need to be rendezvousing with Foley. And they need to be unrestricted. Or, you know what? I'll just home restrict them, just like Foley. Gordon, come join us. Now, the reason I'm leaving Sasquatch out of this is, um, Sasquatch, drop your axe. Oh, no, actually, don't drop it. Uh, the reason I'm leaving him out of this is, uh, better armor is going to keep us safe from further injuries. The Talev, where is, oh, okay, JD is moving over now, too. And some additional animals. Let's see. The labs. I'm going to keep safe. The... Crawl. I'm going to release you as well. Talib. Definitely not having a fun time out there, though. Problem, part of the problem of being raided by double the amount that is uh, our current po population. They're fleeing. Alright, JD, you have a scratch guard. Did you just get that? I don't know, but Talev got shredded. That was a lot of fighting. Oh, this has some sort of... Oh, uh, hello. Research speed, global learning factor. That's an epic axe right there. Um, all right, Sasquatch, you're going to switch axes. Not that you're a researcher. Uh, I also should probably capture one of these dudes. So between these two... Um, that one's missing a leg, so probably this one, even though it's incapable of plant work and cooking. Um... Uh, there's a few others that are unconscious over here, too. So I might have my pick of the... Oh, okay. No no lung. No lung. But Duin, or whatever his name is, I'm going to pick you. So, Vorak. Or actually, Damien. Let's go capture this one. Alright, Sasquatch switched fully. Take that better axe. So Sasquatch, your current axe has much, much, much lower DPS, but allows you to learn faster. Which should be pretty helpful. And then fully, I'll give you the high DPSing axe. And then Hanova, you're gonna get the uh, destructive axe. And then this really nice one here, um, I will sell probably. Animals away. All right, at this rate, um, Talib, you're gonna, or Vorak, rather, you're gonna get Talib killed. So Damien's gonna do it faster. That's not a that's not a warg that's gonna be able to move around much, unfortunately. That's just the way it is. Gonna have to be. All right, Derry, you are healing up our dwarf friend here, and he is going to be recruited. Oh, are the tunnels coming along? Uh, they're really not, but that's just because we've been um, stuck doing a whole lot of other things. I know um, that you all voted for it as a priority, and I will work towards that, but uh, you know, there's been a lot of other priorities. 
part of the issue not to pass the buck is dealing with constant raids does make it hard to get jobs done. That that's the truth. Plus, I don't have possible beds or anything like that, so people take a while to heal. That they do. Um But soon, we'll be pretty much done with research, and that will uh, certainly allow for a lot more productivity around. And that'll be, that'll be good. All right, so there's the really good research that I wanted to get. Uh, I will then also, what, what do I need? I'm gonna get uh, elf armor. Not that they get brawled a lot. So let's do... Let's make some Mountain Dwarf Helmet. I think. And Mountain Dwarf Armor. Weird. I think this is the top tier stuff here. Wrong, but I, I think that's true. So Sasquatch. Have you start smithing that. Borak having a little bit of tantrum. I understand, man. You just want your tea. Not safe for you. I like how smacking the earth and hill sounds like metal. Are there hobbit slavers? I actually, uh, I don't know. I don't have an answer for you there. All right, so we're trying to put the bridge back. And trying to bury all these dudes. I think what I need to do is to hunt some large game. Probably way more than I need, but once my meat starts filling up, I can fix that. Alright, so there's the candelabras. Uh, I definitely need to sell the weapons. Yeah, the trouble is the... Well, hmm, let me see. Trade price improvement. Uh, Rumorium could go, I suppose. Yeah, I'll send Rum. Get him to do it. Oh, well, mountain armor's done pretty quick. So, what is this? 7437? 74 is really the, what I need to look at. So, compare that to my current armor of 51. It is better. Uh, yeah, it is definitely better. I'm going to have Foley queue up to grab it. Dobby, drop in some components for the new lights. And we'll get a helmet out here, too. We need to keep our people uh, protected. All right, Romerarium. I'm going to have you grab this axe that makes you better social impact. Let's see if this actually works. So, he is a 16.5. He switched. And now he is a... Nope. Didn't make any sort of great impact. But that's fine. Okay, uh, world, form caravan, we're going to put him on the back of crawl, uh, and then we're going to bring micro and Camassia, actually rum, you're going to go on the back of, uh, Cassia, that kind of makes, uh, let's bring some kibble, a lot of that do I? And so much pipe weed. Jeez Louise. I'm going to sell a lot of the higher quality pipe weed I have just because our, um, our little friends get sloshed on that pretty quick. Uh, oh boy, there is so much here. I don't know if I'm going to find someone to buy all this stuff, but here's trying.
too many items. Well, at least this would be a good old cleanup. Simple meals, milk, and chose the root. Bandit dwarves coming in from air. Twenty six of them. Getting behind my lines. Oh, already they had a social fight. So I'm going to see if I can't get Rum to uh, start to collect stuff mid-fight. Trying to stay productive. Holy. Uh, let's wake you up and actually put this good armor on. know the range drill so far I would really not be able to take on these large groups without this sort of exploitative range thing I'd have to make raids a lot more expensive wouldn't I Reyna I probably owe you a nice long blade because you don't have a particularly high DPS weapon Anova have you recovered yet not as recovered as I can allow you to be hopefully I'll be able to start healing people So there was what 26 of them so I need to kill 13 for them to leave. Poor little salads. One of the reasons I have sort of a racial um, restriction um, is that I think if I had all elves, it would be really, really easy to defend my borders. Steal from Raza, and from not even Whitney, and this raid is from here, I think I mentioned. Backing up my uh, my dogs, and they're backing up themselves. Oldest, the only one surviving that onslaught, and he's a dwarf archer. My voice going up like that because they're pretty rare to find. Uh, I'm gonna try to recruit him. He'll be... F no, I need another hobbit before I do that, so forget that. I'll get up to four, and then I'll get everyone up to five, and so on and so forth. Alright, come on, Shep. Start doing your job. Give for the animals. Airbrand request Sylvan armor for gold. Maybe. Sasquatch still trying to make some better armor himself. Oh my god, this helmet requires. How much material does this helmet require? 250? Oh my god. What are you wearing a mountain on your head? I mean, I know it's mountain armor, but it seems like you wear a mountain on your head. I could always bank them and keep them in prison for a time. Uh, yeah, that's true. That is a very fair point. Plus this one, uh, well, dead really, really, really soon. So I don't know if that's possible. Um, my guess is they die before 
I get them anywhere. Because it's not like I could put a prison here. I think if I went immediately, it would have been possible, but probably not all that possible anymore. And now I'm just going to have the penalty of, like, a prisoner dying. I got minutes. Oh, I did it. I mean, barely, but I did it. All right, Hildis. I'm going to put you in a bear skin. Oh, you know what? Rum doesn't have um, a bed, does he? Oh, well. That was a close call. So Hildis, you are going to be reduced resistance. Actually, I will recruit them, and whoever recruits first, recruits first. Malarwood coming from Cowley. Or Amrails near New House. That's a good point. I had sort of forgotten. Fences really don't like to be rotated, do they? Put it at the bottom there. Alright, there's the battle helmet. And fully you're going to get this. So, your current helmet has 61 sharp, and this has 85 sharp. That is a huge improvement. And that way we can keep our eyeballs where they're supposed to be, I think. That's the hope. Uh, herbal medicine for the prisoners. Yeah, I also need to be growing that. That's a fair reminder that I need to be doing that. Um, so here, what I'm going to do, this grape thing that has never yielded anything, will be herbal. Because I switch over the um, the crops a lot, I'm just going to call it Farm 1, Farm 2, Farm 3. Ooh, a toque is infused with global work speed. Um, Borak, I'm going to make you wear that. you to cook a little faster. Are you immediately taking it off? You are immediately taking it off. Um, Alright, I'm going to keep it forced then. We got another raid from the Haradrim coming down. Teeny, teeny few of them. In fact, uh, my elves want to go out and hunt them. Uh, as far as wildlife goes... Let's reduce the amount of hunting that we're doing. I don't really need to hunt all those. There is actually a way for me to use steam geysers. Uh, I just haven't done it yet. I'll get to it eventually. Who sent that iron? Oh, some more stuff being sent. Apocalypse sending more Haradrim. There's two more. Aramil, uh, you have bloodlust. Let's get you out front. You actually benefit from killing them, because the others don't. Kill a frail old man. How do you feel about it? You feel great. Perfect. What I wanted. I skipped over the relationship rescue request or quest. Prisoner. Uh, sister of High Elf Archer 
and they're definitely an elf, and they need rescue. I'm down for that. Uh, what I will do, though, is I really, really need to go to the bathroom in real life. So I'm going to be right back. Just give me a moment here. Um, now I'll, I'll give you something to look at. I'll be right back. Shame that I paused. I know you all too well. That you would punish me if I did not. I'll just keep sipping lukewarm coffee or room temperature coffee. Bot might be down. I don't think it's down. I think it was just paused. forced I mean I wish the I wish the coffee was cooler or warmer rather well either direction honestly iced coffee is kind of nice and hot coffee is kind of nice but room temperature coffee uh yeah bot is actually f okay I think when you guys buy parties you kill the bot I'm just throwing it out there the last two times when I saw in the logs that a party was purchased, it murdered the buck. Oh, one thing that I wanted you all to vote on. Yeah, technology is not being nice today. At least Discord's back up. That was a little uh, disappointing. Discord's sort of back up? It's giving me all sorts of trouble. Um... So, here is a poll for you all to vote on. Uh, so, the idea was, I'm getting a ton of weapons, and I was curious if you think I should mod in fueled um, smelters, so that we can allow smelting, because we just have tons and tons and tons of weapons to melt down, and nothing to do with them. Or even that I just destroy weapons. That's also a possibility. I think you could do that on a fire. It's queue up... Uh, burn apparel, but you can't queue up burn weapons. So I would either have burn weapons. You know what? Uh, hold on. I'm going to finish this poll. I know. Um, fueled smelter. So let me change the options here. Alright, so here's a different poll. How to deal with weapons. I can either smelt it down, I can burn them, or just sell them the way I'm doing it now. But obviously we have a problem where we just have simply too many, and I need to deal with the weapons somehow. Uh, you all can vote on that, and that will be something I can do for, for next week. A uh, rum here... Going kind of slow. Are you drinking all the wine? Is that what you're doing? So there's a rescue request for two weeks from now. I'll keep an eye on that. Uh, Sass. So fully. 
You took off your armor? What is going on there? Also, uh, what was that? A gift! Wrecked. Thanks for gifting out subs. That's very generous of you. So Sasquatch is making a whole bunch of Hobbit gear. We want to keep in stockpile one of each type of Hobbit gear, and I want to do that for um, uh, all of the clothing of all different uh, races as well. So I'm going to do until I have one tunic, and this is Dwarven Pants, I'm presuming. Uh, the wards I'm going to keep in the grazing because they're not, they're getting kind of injured and I want them around to fight. Uh, I think I could probably finish the poll. It's pretty clear what's going to win, even if I leave it up longer, which is fueled smelters. So I'm going to put a, um, a tip for me. If there's any other sort of feedback along those lines that you think I should add in, uh, just let me know. I can add it to my, um, thing, my queue. I need to add it to the mods list on Steam. Uh, well, I need to add the mods list here uh, for mass graves as well. Um, so let me write that down. Update mod list. Because the mod list is going to change. I'm pretty sure there's already like a field smelter mod out there that I was just going to use. Uh, you just sent me some beer. What is that? History... Who sent me? Backpedal sent me some beer. Thanks, Back. A magic orbital trade beacon. That'd be kind of funny. All right, well, my... Oh, you built your own bed, and it sucks. Well, you know, you're stuck with it for now. There's one in the medieval times. Well, I'm not adding entirely medieval times. Uh, Abel Akia says, uh, burn bodies. All right, I'll do that. So what I could do is I could, um, rum rum, rumorium got there. Cool. And they'll buy my weapons. I'm going to have a lot of materials when I'm done with you. Bison. Interesting. Cows. Limestone blocks. Oh, that's way too much weight. Alright, so let me go ahead and sell as much as I can to them. Really wish there was like a sell everything. So much clicking. They have a goblin masterwork sword. Why? What team do you fight on? I'll also take a look at um, stuff I could buy from them. This is, it's, it's entirely possible they have some nice stuff as well. They have gold. Uh, I'm going to buy 150 gold. Goblin hide elf helmet. <laughs> There's a really good story behind that, I'm sure. They uh, murdered some goblins. Another thing I would want to buy in mass is wood, but I didn't really see wood. Oh, no, it's an option. Let's buy is 300 wood. Is that 400 wood? 400 wood is about the carry capacity that I have. That works for me. Um, boom. Accept it. So the items I have left is a labor pants. Hmm. Alright, let's enter Warden Hold. There is some Barrage Room attacking immediately. D&D Breakfast Club and Night Divinity Potato Kingdom. Yeah, these guys have... Very much Herodric Herod names, if you ask me. Uh, what kind of weapons they have? They had... Okay. Red versus blue. Come on, Derry. Wake up. Oh, 
instead of letting them come all the way down, I just wanted to, to deal with them sooner. And they're leaving. Roderick, Rodrum people, Roger Cuban. Uh, I, I, they're not very strong. Not always. Uh, Psychic T. Oh, thanks. You're welcome for this stream. That's a lot of tea. And Snowball sending in the kibble. Oh, thank you guys. I'm redesigning this so this is also acts as a impromptu airlock. Let's go ahead, copy. 51 bodies in there already. Holy moly. What is needed for the dwarf door? Tons and tons of uh, limestone. Uh, I'm getting it. But uh, yeah, just a lot of limestone. So the dwarven tunics are done. Let's also work on um, regular old pants. And I don't really care about material. Actually, you know what? Sheeps, well, no, I really don't care about material. Any material is just fine. Make one pant. And, and button-down shirts. Oh, Klein's sending 100, and Cardoza's sending 20. Thank you. Yeah, I'm using a whole lot of limestone everywhere, as you can see, and you know, there's a there's a there's a payment for that a penalty for that. Pink Link sending 25 as well. Yeah, we, we're kind of tucked into a limestone mountain. That's why I've decided to to use limestone as a primary material. Um, when we start doing some more deep drilling, mining, mining, it's definitely not drilling. Um, we'll get some more of that. I think I'm going to tell Anova and Foley to start mining, and we'll leave Sasquatch to craft. Uh, and they should start digging up some, um, some limestone for us. Mine sent me a whisper. I don't think he did. Ooh, the trees are looking kind of nice. I like it. Who's starving? Yep. Uh, probably because you have worms. Nope. Just because you need to wake up and eat. I do not have the quarry mod, no. Alright, we have two dedicated dwarf miners now. So that's far less of an issue. Good, good, bad. Go ahead and vote. Uh, button down shirts. So, then we also want to queue up... Uh, other sort of clothing... I don't know the difference between these robes, so I'm going to make woodland robe for now. We have other progress, Redog. Not the only measure of progress. Um, this armor, 43% versus this, which is 70 these guys are, like, drunk. They just really don't know what's best for them. So, Foley, I think what I'm going to need to do is just have a whole lot of different outfits. Which I'm not super happy about. But let's have a um, new outfit. For Brawlers. I wanted to continue time. Uh, I guess I can't. Uh, so let's do select dwarf brawlers. And I think the best stuff is the mountain stuff. The mountain helmets. And mountain armor. And then what, what are they allowed underneath it? They're allowed a tunic and pants. So we'll also allow that as well. So... Oh, 
yep, those are the Dwarven Pants. And then Dwarf 2. Pirate Merchant coming in from the Elves. I also need to patch up relationships with them, don't I? Uh, so you are going to be... Dwarf Brawler. And then Honova, you're also a Dwarf Brawler. Sasquatch, I suppose you are too. Yaks join. Thanks. Two male yaks. Well, uh, yeah, thanks, I guess. You all voted for that, so, you know, don't look a gift horse in the mouth, right? Uh, let's put them in grazing and turn them into meat. Keep the yaks a riot? All right, well, I'm going to allow you to riot then. Fire merchant. You're coming down. Got a, another warg for sale. I might swap my wargs out for a healthy one. And keep the names. Do a little hot swap. The so Sasquatch is stripping naked because he doesn't have any assigned gear that he's allowed to use. Um, let's get some more mountain armor. Cranked out. I have a lot of stuff that can haul. That's why I don't really want the extra animals. Really just a pain to feed them all. I mean, look at how much kibble I have. Therein lies the problem right there. Rum ran out of food. All right, let's keep hunting. Whoa! Oh my god. How many of those were there? 45 tier 1 subs? Wrecked? That is crazy. Well, I'm going to be listening to the, um... <laughs> the, uh... The draft noise for a while. Got no problems with that. Thank you, man. That was very generous. Sasquatch somehow, um... Creating armor on a... Forge with no fuel. Looks to me like I'm going to need to extend my... Extend my, uh... My armory a bit into the mountain. Okay, maybe extend it out this way. Right, we should definitely trade with these guys. Jeremiah, Tinker Lad, how about you do it? Alright, I've got a good amount of gold. That's going to help me make the really, really nice bows. Um, Olive, I'm going to swap you in for a new warg. We'll just pretend it's not happening, but there's no real way for me to heal, um, heal you of all your, your injuries, so... Old Talif, new Talif. I know, a little weird, but bear with me. Do, can dwarves wear chainmail under their armor? No, I think it's just armor. There is no under armor. I could be wrong about that, but uh, let's see. No, it's just like, over, uh, maybe chain coats? Maybe? I'll try to make a chain coat and see if it's possible. Sasquatch, yeah, your top priority is smithing. What's going on with these pants? Those don't belong there. Uh, what I really need to do... Oh, you guys are hitting... Alright, let's cancel that and get you over to the steel meteorite that was sent down. That will really help smithing. Uh, do I already have chain coats in here? I d didn't think I did. These are long beard dwarf... Oh, no, they're chain coats. To fully... Let's see if you can wear those. I think he's taking off. No, yeah, no, he can't. Don't forget that. That was a nice thought, but it don't work like that.
Yeah, it would have been really nice. Well, what we'll do is we'll just keep cranking them out until we get some really uh, phenomenal quality enchanted stuff. That's what I'm hoping to have done. There's just so many more bodies to bury. Dairy. No longer have. All right, let's get all that limestone. Can animals bury bodies? I don't think so. I don't think that's something that they're capable of doing. They could haul, haul the uh, bodies near the graves. Yeah, that's true. Let's do that. All right, so rotten, fresh corpses of human likes that are not colonists. We'll just go here. We'll fill this one. And we're going to have this low. We'll call this bodies one. Another dump over here. Bodies. Nope. Bodies two. And... There's a lot of bodies everywhere, isn't there? Oh, don't open the mass grave. What is going on here? Uh, all, yeah, I'm gonna start manual hauling. Oh, they're hauling. So these storages are same tiered, but they're just burying them really inefficiently, is I think what's going on. Oh, that's bright. Buy creativity from Shep. That's not going to be helpful. Not one iota, unfortunately. But Jeremiah and Derry are getting married. All right, everybody, stop what you're doing. I want everyone to attend. bad we don't have good food but oh 99% on a lot of the Lembus we'll have good food soon they're chatting about backgammon about wearing jock straps uh, talking about shrubs uh, Reyna offered a backhanded compliment about Vorex value as a human confusing chatted about pemmican fighting anteaters I suppose anteaters are a little subterranean at times. Uh, wine coming down from Nuno. I'm assuming to celebrate the wedding. Here's the ceremony itself. Uh, okay, there's an issue here. You don't seem to be standing where you need... Oh, there we go. I'll just force it. I like how they're standing around in 30 degree weather. Clean real fast? Yeah, I could... Brandon, you want to clean? All right, there we are. And the party to, to follow. Everybody eating. I do appreciate their chats about um, xenohumans. That's such like a sci-fi term and not a fantasy term. Xenohuman, happy about wedding. Maybe that's just me. I'm being weird. All right. Well, there you go. Very, very fine wedding. If I do say so myself. All right, Squatch. Why are you constructing? You should be... Oh, you know what? There's not even enough iron. I see, I see. So when there's not enough iron... The Squatch here... Should be mining rather than constructing. Alright. Get you to do that, Sasquatch. Foley is actually doing a whole lot of uh, good mining. This high-quality steel. Oh, yes, right. 
I don't want to collapse the roof on me. Discord is having a lot of issues. Yeah, they have some sort of... Discord's going kaplop. Look at the wonderful moods that that all, um... All that beautiful stuff entailed. Are these animals hauling bodies, though? I don't actually see evidence that they have done any hauling whatsoever. But maybe they're hauling something more important. That, I suppose, is just fine. Oh, yes, Rum. You're back. From Rurium. Ugh, or cold. Are the animals trained for hauling? Oh, yes, they absolutely are. There's a ton of them trained for it. Some of them, some of the animals that were trained for it just got back from the um, caravan. Wood coming down from Kubri. Kubi. We should have a ton of silver now. We do. You know, Sasquatch, if, uh, oh no, no, you're currently smithing something. Uh, I suppose you'd go faster if I actually heated the area, though. Oh, you're trying to rest? Yeah, no, I'll, I'll allow that. All right, so this is nicely illuminated. The um, the sconces here, I noticed, they illuminate both sides of the wall that they're installed on, so I broke apart some of the walls that so they illuminate both bedroom and um, hallway. Uh, four sides are done in the Great Hall. Yes, did notice that. I am excited about that. And really good elf armor is done. We are pushing ahead with all of our research. All right, the floor is here. That's not going to work. I don't even need a zone. Uh, what do I want to put in there? Right in the middle. Hmm. Ideally art, but what I think I'm going to do for now is a, uh, plant post. Right in the middle there. Oof. We have some really bad hypothermia going on here. Um, so assignments... I think I'm going to allow everybody to wear toques. They're not necessarily racially restricted. So that's elves, hobbits, dwarf brawlers, dwarves, and humans. Uh, wood coming down from Phoenix. Hi, Jeremiah. Thanks for showing up. I appreciate it. All right, we want some light up in here. Put a iron chandelier. I could also plant a tree in the middle. Yep. We'll put a mallard. Oh, the mallard tree. Ryan, thanks for the uh, the sub there, and sharing the gifts. All right, come on, animals, start hauling the corpses. Still have so many dead bodies on my bridge. They're gonna start rotting soon. Oh, you got frostbite. Uh, 
Yeah, I think everyone's getting frostbite. All right, let's keep this warm. Bad, good, neutral. Another alternative, not that I really want to, is I could have barracks free trees instead of bedrooms. I'd rather have bedrooms, but with the heat the way it is, it is hard to keep them safe from their own um, hypothermia. Man, and just when you think you've, you're done crafting stuff, back at it. So before I do the Mountain Elf stuff, let's do Rivendell bows. Those are the really, really good ones, right? That's a lot of melon wood. But uh, we'll get one more Rivendell bow. Or actually, two more. And I will do one. One for now. Pull for race barracks? Uh, I don't really need to pull for it, I don't think. I I'd rather not make barracks. To be honest. Raid. Rodrum raid. Oh, a tea mill raid, too. They're so cute. Aramil. Let's get you out here. He really enjoys killing people, so. Yes. Get their attention. Alright, so we're starting to mask mass uh bury a bunch of people here that's good uh, this is a little bit more sizable of a raid so i'm going to head on in restrict everybody to home oh rum was already restricted didn't notice that animals also all restricted home Why did that door close behind me? Uh, what is going on? I'll catch up with this in a second. Okay, go away. Go away, go away, go away. There you know. Holy. Oh, I like the weather. Rum. Um. Whatever happened to that crossbow? Here it is. Nova, I think I'm going to make you temporarily wear lesser armor, just because other than being naked. And let's catch up. So, Dwarven Hill Clans is sending Traitor here, and they're going to clash, maybe. Uh, increase of skill. Uh, some bits. Hold on, let me pay attention. Adios, shield. Thanks for the bits. Some wood from GFK. Uh, hard snow. You're building atmospherics for the episode. Yeah, I can notice that. And this raid is a GFK raid. Alright, so we have a whole lot of bowmen ready to thin out their numbers. Oh, Rectal sending it to clear weather. Brawl's ready to fight. Alright, Hanova, I'm going to leave you forced to wear that stuff. It's way better than what you currently have on. fleeing. Let's not bury more than I need to. What I what I, if I was being thorough, I would check to see if any of them have like really nice enchanted weapons, but I'm just going to assume their gear is sort of eh. In truth, I'd really like to make my own amazing gear rather than rely on looting other gear, but I'm not quite there yet. The military aid event was hard snow. Sorry, I don't necessarily follow. Oh, this axe is icy. Um, cool, I guess, if it was really, really, really hot. But it isn't hot. It's a rare axe, though. Maybe it's self for something. All right, these dudes need to decide to join me. I guess Duwin, or whatever his name is, is probably going to be number one first up to join. 
Uh, looks like we need some marble to finish off some of my projects. Is this marble? Oh, yeah, this is all marble. That will do. That will do indeed. Alright, Sass is making some armor for Rum or for Hanova. Man, I really hope to heal Hanova. Because he's, um... Pretty messed up. Both of the prisoners are dwarves, yes. And I don't exactly need a dwarf right now, do I? Uh, so, you know what? I'm going to reduce resistance on them. I should probably just release one of them, but I'll just leave them. What I really need is elves and uh, hobbits. Hobbits are hard to come by, I think. Um, I do have a quest for an elf, so maybe I should go do that quest. Uh, not that I have a lot of time left, but... Maybe that will be the last thing I do in this stream. Let's go rescue the... whoever that was. Uh, Jeremiah, sorry to wake you, but let's go talk to the hill clans here. What is brown fur? Brown fur is pretty good. Keep that. A little plain leather. Uh, what is there to buy? I could buy their components. That's a ton of components. I'm not going to buy need components for a very, very, very long time. Chocolate. Yeah. Human meat. That's disturbing. You should be shamed. I definitely not, don't need cloth. Or puzzle boxes. I could buy their beer, I guess. There's something I really want from them. Um, no? Steel, Gladrum, Elf, Armor. I guess. Oh, I'll have the t-shirt. Hmm. I'm trying to, like, make it sort of even. But that's kind of hard to do. They don't have a lot for sale. That's a big trade right there. And a raid from... Bandit Raid. Okay. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cheese this. I'm going to leave the door open here. Oh, cool. So there is some nice steel armor. If I, uh, let's see, can I, how much can I cheese this raid? I, I want my visitors to have to deal with them, and not me. So let's close this door. And have them all raid north. Jeremiah's scheming up here. Happy little schemer. All right, let's carry the components in and carry the blood remember in. And oddly enough, the visitors don't really like spawn with weapons. So this is very bloody and bad for these visitors. They're running away. That seems like a, a bug. Uh, what does the elf doll do? Uh, it's flavor, I think. How do you sell body parts? Send body parts? I don't think you do. Um, Reyna. Let's go rescue if we are able. Man, they're getting slaughtered. I need to figure out how to spawn them with uh, weapons. Is Fulham going to live longer? Ness? Uh, ideally, I want to build up rep with these people, so that's why I'm trying to rescue them. And they killed everyone. I was kind of... I, I, I actually feel bad about that. If I could go back in time, I probably would. Demfer, you're going to survive just barely. I grabbed some of them. So I suppose due to this raid, I'm not going to be able to do the rescue quest. And I'll do that early next episode to entice people to try to tune in early to be possibly added to the roster. 
Yeah, all the guys out here. Oh no, you you got back up. You're gonna make it out. A lot of these guys got slaughtered. Absolutely. Alright, they're fleeing. Oh, that's too bad. I don't know if I can plant a Malorn um, within that radius. Yeah, it's a big old F for them, huh? It's like IT coming down from tea time. And I have a few minutes left. Uh, well, let's try to do this. This shouldn't take too, too. Actually, let's just... Okay. And a little bit of meds. Bed rolls. Where are my meds? Do I not even... Maybe I don't even have meds. It's been really, really, really cold, so it's hard to grow them. A dwarf riding a warg is insulting? Yeah, probably. But it's really good for stealth. No one expects it. Animals. Gonna restrict the ones that should be unrestricted. All right, Vorek, how oh, hurt did you? Yeah, you did. Get hurt. Uh, Dumfer got a little infected. That's a big old bummer. All right, so we're underway. They say they're out of food, but like they're really, really not. Oh, you know, maybe the animals are. That's okay. Oh, JD, I shouldn't have sent you, but that's all right. All right, Sasquatch, I want that bow. Need material. I think I need uh, Malarn wood. So, a really good plant cutter. Droiden. Lift restrictions here. Get to cut down a big old tree for me so I can turn it into a really, really nice bow. Those bows are really expensive, so hopefully they're good. Um, if you take four mounts, I can get back faster too. Oh well, I saw it too late. Area revealed. What? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is for the marble. We're just moving marble around. I'm gonna forbid this stuff for now so that we focus on just deconstructing the old marble. Definitely some uneasy music going around, huh? Hey, Rummy. That's what I'm calling you now. Um, not fully grown. Crawl. And ram. Kibble. You just bring it all. Uh, 100 cram and 100 kibble. No, 100 kibble. We're doing on another trade run. Just because we have so much junk. want to really shed the junk that we got. Ideally, I'd like to go for a buy run. Uh, the last time we we did actually buy some decent amount of stuff. I'll bring the silver. Hope I don't regret that. Um, all right, choose root. Still no beds. Sorry, but I'm sending you bedless. 
I know I'm a little bit up over uptime. I'm just gonna run a little bit long today just so I could get some more stuff done. Hope y'all don't mind. It won't be too much longer if you're worried about that sort of thing. Look at all these beautiful pack of survival meals. And there's just no end to the amount of bodies I have to deal with. What more time? How dare you? Yeah, well, I mean, it's just... Yeah. It's it's because I, I took toilet break. Yeah, that's exactly right. You know. I'm just paying it forward. Times probably many times over. Alright, Droiden, did you end up cut? Okay, you did. And this bow is going to go to Aramil. Uh, someone like that. Get him a little bit more range and all that. Alright, how's your leg? This here should be critically important that we put the medicine down. Uh, beer. 5 a.m. Farewell. Yeah, I figured, uh, for some people in Europe and Asia, not all that convenient to stay late. Oh, so the bow is done. There it is. Ooh, it's good. Good, good, good. So, that's better than, um, Celadri's normal bow, but I'm not gonna use it just yet. So, let's make helmet. So, we have one armor, right? Inova, I'm assuming you've already... You're wearing it? No? Maybe not? Where is it? Probably in the overflow. Maybe I'm bringing it with me. That'd be a mistake. I can just choose not to sell it, though. Or I can kick it out of the uh, stock stockpile. Dragonfly, do you have it? Not yet. Before they actually leave, I'll have to remind myself. Kamasia, maybe you have it. Nope. Oh, so here's the mountain counter. It is sister of Aramil, and I sent Aramil on purpose to go rescue. Oh, you guys are so dead. You have no, no chance whatsoever. Oh, JD, you are... Going on a little bit of warpath here. Alright, JD, I want you to stay safe with the rest of them. scary snipers. Alright, so I could just claim this and go... You better be an elf. Yep, you are indeed an elf. Jealous, slowpoke, hard worker. Did you get... He get shot in the heart? Yeah, he literally got shot in the heart. Dude! Damien! Or Aramil, I don't even know who it was. It's probably Aramil, right? Yeah, it was Aramil. I knew. Bloodlusted bastard. Uh, all right, so here we are free prisoner and You are a doctor. Ooh, yeah, good All right, I'm going to um, Assign this new person uh, Right now you're gonna be called um, Arwen I'm gonna sign this new uh, elf next episode uh, So if you are a subscriber Definitely show up on time if you're able because that's when Arwen's gonna be assigned Wow, look at this base. Beautiful, beautiful base here. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to bring home as much of this um, wood as I can. Normally, I don't uh, rip apart bases, but uh, this is a fair bit of Malorn here, and I might as well grab it. So, work. 
have you all temporarily construct. Alright, sorry fully about your heart. I know, I know, uptime. Haven't you been hearing me that it was gonna run a little long? Like you're complaining that uh, you, I'm streaming longer. Uh, once I reform Caravan and send them back, uh, I will. I'll do it to close. Let's bring their salted meats. I'm gonna forget all the gear here, though. I don't really care about that. But that was like a tree's worth of Malorn wood, which is pretty good. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, so this is it. If you have any feedback for me for this uh, for this series, I am absolutely all ears. Uh, for all the people that um, donated bits and gifted subs, I thank you so very much. Uh, I am here streaming because of you, all audience members, not just specifically the ones that are generous. Uh, any feedback that you have, I'm going to be sticking around for a little bit to get all that feedback. But honestly, Discord's the better place to be. Right now, we're actually giving away... Uh, about maybe 35, 40 games on the Discord channel. So if you'd like it, there's no requirement whatsoever. You don't need to be a patron or a subscriber or anything. I'm just giving it away to whomever wants games. There's going to be a raffle upcoming. So if you would like to be included on that, join Discord. Uh, and the raffle is because you guys are just so generous. So I'm going to drop some links into Discord right now. And collecting any of the feedback from all of you about things that you'd like to see or change in this series. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you all next time. Uh, adios.